Hi guys, Mark Dawes once again, and in this short video I just want to answer the question about the use of handcuffs specifically in Scotland. <laughs> So the question we've been asked specifically is, and I'm going to read it directly off the email we've got so I get it correct, is, is there any law in Scotland that prohibits non-police staff, primarily security or door supervisor staff, carrying or using handcuffs to reduce the risk of violence or to detain a person lawfully arrested if they are properly trained to do so? Now, we put this to a few solicitors to look at. We've also asked a very leading expert in this field that was on the Association of Chief Police Officers Arrest and Restraint Self-Defence Committee. So we've got quite a lot of opinions on this, and this is a summary of everything we've got. And again, I'm going to read it so I get it 100% right for you. It says, unlike England, Scotland does not have any specific statutory law about making a citizen's arrest. However, the common law permits someone who has witnessed a serious crime to use reasonable force to detain the perpetrator until the police can attend and take over. Reasonable force would depend on the circumstances, but it would be reasonable to restrain a violent prisoner or perpetrator by using handcuffs if there was no alternative necessary. Note, however, that the persons carrying out a citizen's arrest and detention on a person without having witnessed the crime firsthand would run the risk of committing an offence likely to be assault themselves. So just to summarize that, handcuffs are a common law use of force option. They are known generally as a temporary restraining device. So they are, if you like, allowed to be used under common law. It's just a use of force option, that's all it is. Okay. Now in Scotland, there's no statutory law specifically regarding this. So in Scotland, they have the common law, but under common law, you can use force and a use of force option is handcuffs. Now, providing the staff are trained and the equipment is maintained and looked after under the various health and safety regulations, and the specific one is the provision of use of work equipment regulations, which means staff need to be trained, items need to be stored, maintained, and kept in good order, etc. There is not a problem whatsoever. You can actually carry them and you can use them. Now, the reason we've been asked this question is because, allegedly, a police officer in Scotland has told door supervisors on a particular door that they are not allowed to carry and use handcuffs, only the police are. We've checked that legally, and that advice is incorrect. Now here's the thing to bear in mind, if you are someone, whether you're a police officer or not, you could be you know, a security manager or, or an NHS manager or whatever, but if you are someone that makes a statement like that which says staff cannot use a piece of equipment and they are pressurized to doing so because they're in fear of being arrested or charged or losing their license or being disciplined or whatever. And the net result of that is that someone gets seriously injured or God forbid killed, which could have been prevented by the use of a temporary restraining device as a common law use of force option, then I think that person is highly culpable and liable for giving that advice. Now, I'm not the only one that thinks that. I know other barristers and lawyers that do too. So please bear in mind, you know, handcuffs are a common law use of force option and they are a temporary restraining device. And as a piece of equipment, work-related equipment, if that can be used to prevent a violent assault or prevent someone, God forbid, being killed, they should absolutely be considered. And if you look at the manual handling regulations and the guidance that underpins that, it says where you can, you should automate or use mechanical aids to make to control the load. That's in the guidance of the manual handling regs which underpin the Health and Safety Work Act. So there's a summary of the, of the answer to that question. I hope that helps. And if you have any other questions or you have any other issues that you'd like to actually ask us about, please drop us a line, pick up the phone, send us an email. We'd be delighted to hear from you because if we can help you, you can help other people. Thanks ever so much for listening.